A variety of activities are offered on land, water, and sky, and hang gliding is one of the popular one that takes to the air. Both novices and experienced flyers can enjoy this experience, which is like riding a bike in the sky. Earlier this week, I took a look at how weather is the driving force behind the flight. At Lookout Mountain Flight Park, they perform tandem hang gliding flights, plus experts take off solo from the ridge launch pad right behind me. Now, weather plays an important role in determining when and where they can fly. Even on a nice day with bright blue sky, conditions may not be ideal for a hang gliding flight. Employees start evaluating the weather conditions a day or two before booked flights. In the morning of, we're definitely looking to at uh, wind direction, uh, cloud base, we got it. We need a certain clearance underneath clouds and around clouds to legally fly. Wind speed on the ground and aloft must also be considered. A small plane takes tandem hang gliders from the valley floor up to 1,500 or 3,000 feet, and then the glider is released from its tether. There's also the ridge foot launch, where experienced gliders run and jump off the cliff 2,000 feet above the valley. For them, a headwind from the northwest is desired for good lift. The wind's blowing down the valley one way or the other. It's generally pretty smooth over the back of the mountain. If it's coming from the, the east, northeast, around the southeast, anywhere in that direction is going to cause turbulence in the valley. The turbulence makes flying unsafe from both launch locations. As the ground heats up in the daytime, rising thermals of warm air act like bubbles and are also considered for flight plans. For the foot launch flights, guys that want to stay up, it's better for them in the afternoon once the ground heats up, the convective things go and thermals are rising. But for the tandem flights, the thermal convection causes more turbulence. For us, because we've got to climb out of this field and deal with this turbulence down here, uh, usually better for us in the morning and late in the afternoon. A comprehensive harness with shoulder and leg straps, helmet and glasses are used. Each glider is pre-flighted every day and a checklist followed before launching. I got you hooked into a main and a backup. Those are rated to 4,000 pounds each. Tandem flights will last 10 to 20 minutes and the passenger gets to help fly on the way down. If you are interested in learning to fly, it'll take about 15 training lessons before you can hop on the hang glider by yourself. Reporting from Rising Fawn, Georgia, Allison Pryor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Allison, thanks. Coming up.